Hey, it's Joe Glass, the Automator. And a couple of weeks back, we were on a live Friday call helping people. And I demonstrated a script called Task Manager. It's written by, I think it's Fenche or Fenchai. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Anyway, if you're watching, I know he's a subscriber because he mentioned something about it. And uh, I wanted to demonstrate it here. We made a couple tweaks to the script. Not that it was bad. It was just there were a couple of things that we preferred differently. And I thought it's a very powerful script. So basically, you know, your original task manager. One of the things that are really annoying in AutoHotKey is you can't easily detect, see which script you're looking at in task manager. And so let me go ahead and launch the script. Now, one of the things you'll see when we go to launch it is it takes a second, a couple seconds. So we added a little tool tip here to just say, hey, it's it's getting started. When it does, it's going to come up here. I have my resolution a bit high at the moment, just so it's easier to see. But let me go by application. So here's auto hotkey, right? But over here, we can easily see, here's my button clock, my spell check, you know, a couple other tools I have running. But what's it's just nice because I can see I can kill a specific one. I could right click on it. I can say open the directory. So this, I don't think he had actually implemented. We we did work on it. And um, it's a little unruly because like some of these have multiple paths in them and so we try to get the last path so we'll open that directory that works pretty reliably so i can say open directory and it pops open the directory this is always on top so it kind of hides it but it does that part works we um we also made it where when you look in the system tray and you click it we can see there's a couple hotkeys this just goes back to it you can reset the position refresh it delete the delete key will kill something um, and you can edit and reload the script or just exit the script. Now we also set up where he had it set up where if you double clicked it, it would, the default would be to kill it. We thought the double click is more likely you want to open that folder. And so that's what it's doing is it's opening those folders instead. Uh, again, you could, you could do, you can also select multiple and right click and say open directories and open all 10. Um, you can still say N10 processes or you can hit the delete key and it would say, like, let's go ahead and say this in 10 processes. It'll say, are you, are you sure you want to kill all these? I'm going to hit cancel. But yeah, it's a pretty cool, again, since it's not a hotkey, you can change it to your liking. Uh, but we thought it was a great tool overall. Good job. It's it's really nice. It's my default. I don't use the built-in taskbar anymore. I use this because it gives me a little more flexibility and I can see what's going on. And I think we made it where you can copy it. Yeah, copy selected. So if we copy that and then we go somewhere and paste it, now we have that information that we might want to get. And even if you had multiple rows selected, you could copy all of that, which sometimes, you know, if you want to be able to go grab this and take a look at it, it's very handy. So I hope that you enjoyed the script. We're the largest auto hockey channel out there. We like to teach people auto hockey, but also if things are too advanced for you, we can create custom scripts like this for you as well. Uh, drop us a note if you're interested in getting some work done or take one of our courses. We got Usually they're all on sale at some point. And uh, we teach a lot of things without hockey. Have a great day. Cheers.